What's going on today guys? Welcome back to DC Unplugged. This is my little mate Zayda. <laughs> my name is Dre and I'm going to show you how to clean your e-scooter correctly without causing any damage to the electronics. So let's get to it. So first, like all things, I'm going to clear out my shed and have a good clean working environment so that way we don't trip over anything. So this means that I do have to move my car out of the way to be able to get us some clean working space. So that way we can easily move around Gouda. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be using the Cyclone Pro to clean up. Um, it does need a bit of a detail. It's been sitting for a while. It's quite dusty and dirty. And obviously we're going to show you pretty much everything, including how to clean grip tape, which is going to be really, really good. Now I have put this up or made this video because I keep getting asked this quite regularly and I thought it would be a pretty good idea to do. So let's go ahead with it. So the products we'll need for this video is wet wipes, a spray bottle, with soapy water. If you don't know how to make soapy water, I'll show a quick video of how to do that. Okay guys, so basically all it is with, um, this is just basically adding a little bit of detergent to some water. I'm sure everyone has dishwashing liquid. So we just add a little bit in there, like so. Adding the water first, otherwise, uh, yeah, it will get very, very foamy. So suggest adding the water in first and then the detergent. And we'll also need a microfiber cloth and an old toothbrush or an old brush of some sort just so we can agitate some dirt, some hard areas. Now this part isn't necessary, but I have like a three-in-one car coating thing. Um, it's meant to just make some hydrophobic properties um, to the scooters. Uh, it's obviously for cars, but being a car, not myself. Um, this is just cheap stuff you can find on AliExpress. It's JB-XPCS. I'll show you there. Um, yeah, just comes in a little spray bottle. It's nothing nice cheap. So then that way we can just use it on the scooters. So if we do have any mud or anything like that, flick up onto the scooter, it just pretty, pretty much just dispels it straight off the back. So not necessary, um, but if you have something like this lying around, definitely worth it for the end result. So yeah. So my first part is I always like starting with the soapy water. So what we want to do with the soapy water here is basically have it mixed up and spray it onto the grip tape here. So then that way it can start loosening it up and bringing up the dirt. I'll show you how that works just now. Okay, so you can see there, soapy water. We don't wanna to go too heavy on it. We just wanna get it damp. And then grab our old toothbrush. And just work in some circular motions. And that's just gonna help bring off all that dirt. Now the reason why we work on a milk crate is exactly like this. So we've got a nice even area to work on. The soap doesn't move and slide over the sides creating any issues. Um, it sits up on top of the deck perfectly fine and doesn't go anywhere we don't want it to go. So um, now this is perfectly ready to rock and roll and we can lift up all that just by using a, a microfiber cloth and just dabbing, letting the microfiber towel or whatever you use, like an old rag or whatnot, just to lift up that old dirty water. That's our grip tape done. Now let's move on to the rest of the body. Now for the rest of the body guys, we're gonna use some wet wipes. Doesn't matter, it isn't wet wipes, wet wipes. Uh, you will find with wet wipes, they do leave like streaks and stuff like that. Um, hence again, the reason why we have our rag here. We're gonna wipe that down too. We're gonna to start in the back here. And we'll go through, through. And all you're gonna do, grab a rag or a wet wipe. And you're just gonna wipe over the whole scooter. Get in those grooves. What I like to do with the grooves and stuff is I'll put it around my hands and use my nails to kind of get into grooves like that. Sounds disgusting, but it's not gonna do anything to you because uh, the wet rag is in the between. Now, just wiping over the whole scooter everywhere you can. Now, you pretty much just wanna follow this and do exactly what I'm doing here on this rear section, um, pretty much over your whole entire scooter. And um, do section by section because you don't want this to dry and leave um, lines and stuff um, of where you've cleaned. So I recommend doing like a section at a time, like if you've done the rear part and then the middle and then the front. So get into all those little cracks and stuff. Wanna grab this and just fold it up like that 
and you can get in between the between the gaps in the springs. I'm trying to clean the inside of the rim there. Again, same flossing technique. Just put a little bit down there and just kind of clean the inside of your swing arm. Now, why don't you wipe down everything that you wanted to clean up? Rag, dry everything down. That stops you getting the streaks. Now, pretty much follow suit for the rest of the scooter. Um, also guys, if you are trying to clean your hub motors, obviously, again, wet wipe, either edge of your tires here can also be cleaned. Um, if you want that really nice, sharp, clean look, just give it a rub. If you do have some tire shine, best spraying it into a rag first, so just spray it onto the rag and only wipe the edge. Never put it on your tires because you can actually come off and make a really, really slippery mess. Um, but yeah. Just um, put it on the wall there and that'll make it look like brand new. Obviously the tires are gonna get dirty, but you know, you can clean up the walls and make them look nice and clean again, much like we have on this particular one here, comparing it to the front. <laughs> so you have now successfully cleaned your first e-scooter. I hope that's helped. Now, if you do want some more, like I said, I've got that extra stuff and this is what I do with it. Again, don't have to use this, this is what I use. So what I usually do, got a wet side and a dry side. Because it's already wet, I'll use the wet side first, adding this. This stuff smells so nice. All right, then we just simply wipe the scooter down pretty much in every surface possible. Then once we've wiped down everything with that product, we're then gonna go around to our dry side and pretty much just buff everything off. Now I hope that helped you a lot of you guys out. If it did and you've got like a new, <laughs> new looking scooter like this one here is now, obviously it's got a couple of scratches because it's been riding, but if that's definitely helped you guys out, definitely leave us a like and maybe think about subscribing because I do a lot of videos like this, helping you guys keep up to date with these things. So I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, full wear, full face helmet, stay upright, see you in the next video.